The Justice Department is suing Texas and Governor Greg Abbott over a 1,000-foot floating barrier and an additional razor wire barrier that the state deployed across part of the Rio Grande, a river stretching between Texas and Mexico this month. The DOJ had warned Abbott that his moves violated federal law, raised humanitarian concerns, and presented serious risks to public safety and to the environment. Last week, the Houston Chronicle got access to an email from a Texas Department of Public Safety trooper who laid out deeply disturbing allegations. In the email, the officer, who worked for Greg Abbott's Border Security Initiative, claimed that they were ordered to push small children and nursing babies back into the Rio Grande. They had also been told not to provide water in record-shattering heat to asylum seekers. The razor wire deployed by troopers has injured people, including a woman who had a miscarriage while entangled in the wire. So much for pro-life Texas. The trooper also suggested that Texas has set traps of razor wire wrapped barrels in parts of the river with high water and low visibility, which has increased the threat of drowning because it has forced migrants into deeper stretches of the river. The trooper noted that the razor wire traps are so deadly that they discovered a young mother and her two children had been submerged in the river. The mother and one of her children were declared dead at the hospital. The second child was never found. Governor Abbott seems quite indifferent to these horrors. Earlier today, he tweeted, quote, we will continue to deploy every strategy to protect Texans and Americans and the migrants risking their lives, unquote. It's a little odd that the governor claims that he's protecting migrants by endangering their lives. Given that the Chronicle also reported that federal border patrol officials issued internal warnings that the razor wire was dangerous and was inhibiting border agents from helping people in distress. A warning that Abbott clearly ignored and continues to ignore. Joining me now is Julian Castro, former HUD secretary in the Obama administration and MSNBC political analyst. Now, Julian, it's always good to see you. I know that it is your brother, Joaquin Castro, Congressman uh, Castro, who actually asked for this lawsuit. Um, let's talk about what's happening here. This appears to be an attempt to cause death to migrants, including women and children. Is that the way you see it? Uh, yes, it is, Joy. I mean, this is sick stuff. This goes beyond just passively trying to keep people out. As you described, this is actively trying to harm people. And as the Houston Chronicle article made very clear, it is harming people uh, in, in terrible ways. And now people are getting to see the pictures. They're getting to hear the stories of folks who have been maimed, uh, of people who have been put into danger, including children. So this is sick. It's performative cruelty by Governor Abbott. How do we know that? Well, we know that because the number of boarding cr border crossings in Texas has actually plunged since May when Title 42 was lifted. So um, what we've seen over the last several months is that those crossings have gone down and the federal approach has been working to reduce those crossings. And instead of recognizing that and trying to work with the federal government to make sure that things continue to go in the right direction uh, and also perhaps do something about comprehensive immigration reform, Governor Abbott engages in another level of cruelty to appeal to his right-wing base. That's all it is. It's right. not about solving the problem. It's about hurting people to please his right-wing base. You know, it is it, 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 that bears out because you're right. The, the number, you know, of border crossing has fallen below 100,000. That's the first time since 2021. So it's it's it, it's going, as you said, in a in a direction down. But all you're hearing is more tragedy. There's another young uh, another story. An independent auditor found an eight year old girl uh, pa from Panama was um, who died despite clearly preventable illness um, because. People refuse to treat her um, at the border. What you're, what it, it does seem, because between this, what Abbott is doing, what DeSantis is doing, snatching people out of Texas and throwing them on planes everywhere, they're sort of using these migrants at this point as theater, um, and in some cases as gory, sort of snuff film type theater. Do, do you believe that Governor Abbott, is this the goal? Does he want to see more deaths? Does he, does he think that's going to deter people if just more people die? Well, I think he thinks this is going to get him, um, you know, more support in a Republican Party that has been taken over by extremists who absolutely get their jollies from seeing uh, migrants hurt, 
maimed, punished in their eyes. And so he thinks he's going to get ahead politically. And this is a guy that, as I've said on your show many times, has bigger political ambitions. I think he sees himself one day, although I, don't, I doubt it's ever going to happen, but he sees himself at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And he thinks that one of the ways you get hmm. there is to be this extreme on immigration and to hurt people. It's not only an indictment of him, uh, it's also an indictment of the entire GOP. And that's why uh, you know, I'm glad that the Justice Department is filing this lawsuit. I hope that President Biden, who has the moral high ground here, will say something as well. Because if you don't, you really allow them to keep playing these cruel games and go further and further. You can't just file the lawsuits. You also have to use that moral high ground, say something about it, and help stop it. You know, it's funny. I, it's funny. People, some people still call them the GOP, as you did. That used to stand for Grand Old Party. There's nothing grand about this party at the moment, and I'm not sure there's nothing old about it because they don't resemble the original Republican Party at all. Um, uh, last question: Do you think that there should be prosecutions around this? Because this does seem to be homicide. Yes, I do. And it's very telling that the reason we know all of this is not some activist somewhere, some lawyer somewhere for a migrant. It's Greg Abbott's own personnel that are telling on him. This was a whistleblower. And so I, I am hopeful that the investigation that the federal government does is going to turn up evidence that can hold people accountable for this. Yeah. Uh, Julian Castro, thank you, as always. Really appreciate you being here.